The American dream is dead. I will bring it back. Who are you consulting with consistently? I'm speaking with myself. Donald Trump is like a practical joke that got out of hand. I think I know more about the environment than most people. He's the most documented liar in human history, I think, at this point. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. You're saying it's a falsehood, and Sean Spicer gave alternative facts. Alternative that facts? The fake news, right? Sociopaths can be successful because they're con men. He cheats all the time. If he's going to cheat at golf, you don't think he's going to cheat to win an election? You don't think he's going to cheat? to break rules, to get information from foreign countries? My God, he just admitted he does it. Is Donald Trump fit to serve as the president and commander in chief? I can answer that with one word, no. These psychiatrists now who are trying to diagnose without ever having met the man. Trump is a sadist. Uh, I don't know what I said, ah. Uh. The misogynist. He said, I wouldn't even let you suck my dick. The racist. Look at my African-American over here. He is not a racist. He's an asshole. That's different from being a racist. It's so sad that so many people have let their worst side come out through Trump. It's an anger-based vote. The system is rigged and the system is unfair towards them. They're like, okay, give my vote to the orange man. Let's see how he does. There are times in history when figures appear who are able to coalesce existing hatreds and anxieties. I've never really liked the Trump is an idiot, Trump is a buffoon aspect of the anti-Trump rhetoric. So I think it does diminish some of the real dangers he poses. Trump has helped autocrats all around the world. These people are all fellow travelers now. Mental health professionals have the duty to protect society if there's a risk to society. To whom will history be kinder? Those who spoke up during the age when Trump rose or those who were silent?